Hey people, reporting from downtown Seattle. Mike Martin's here. All right guys, I want to report something. From walking and exploring and checking this city out for the last six days, I noticed something. Help wanted signs everywhere. A lot of help wanted signs everywhere. Uh, I'm seeing it like in different places, small business, medium business, even bigger venues even public sector venues help wanted everywhere well why well it's because a lot of people are saying well there's not enough a population to fill the jobs and we need to bring in more people no it's not that it's from the, the youth the people I've been talking around all around town have the same sentiment they can't afford to live in this town in this city so in the city here of Seattle, where I'm at, middle class, we've been right about this all these years. Seattle middle class to be wiped out and it's being wiped out. So this, this two decade, maybe three decade generation is lost. So you got, you know, people that were 20 years old, okay? 10, 10 years ago, they were 20, now they're 30 and they're still out of their own markets, right? Seattle was one of those cities that jumped in to the foreign investing, jumped in uh, uh, into uh, bringing money in from China and parking it into the real estate here in the city. And Seattle took that opportunity when Vancouver implemented its foreign buyers tax. You could look up the article we read where uh, Chinese investors are skipping Vancouver and heading to Seattle and Toronto in a f frenetic pace. I call it a frantic pace, but it was a frenetic pace. And that's what's happened. I'm noticing here that the middle class is completely suffering, okay? It's working poor. We've been calling it working poor for over 10 years now. It's the working poor. And people are being priced out of their own real estate. That's why there's so many help wanted signs all over the city, in windows, in, in written on napkins, on a pin board I'm seeing it everywhere and and in the public sector areas you see like these big billboards with like hire we're hiring like it would change like a TV like different ads so it's not that there's a big job opportunity availability in Seattle there is a job opportunity availability because everyone's offering a job around here the problem is nobody could afford to live in this city and that's what's happened here in Seattle and you could go back and you could go through our time machine on the channel and you could see what we've been talking about Seattle for the last 10 years. And it's a beautiful city. It's completely spotless. I haven't found any, I, I, I just, I, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's, it's, it's beyond what I've imagined. But help wanted signs everywhere, yes. So if you're applying and you're finding all these jobs in Seattle, start researching what it costs to live in Seattle before you move here because I want you to know the real estate is is beyond affordability. A couple, quite a bit of youth I've been speaking to have been telling me the exact same thing. Working two, three jobs, and they're paying more than they could afford for a basic one bedroom apartment. And that's what's happened here. And that's why they can't fill these positions. And that's why a lot of companies had to move out of the city to accommodate the locals to come into work. Anyways, Mike Martin's here. Reporting from downtown Seattle, I have spoken.